Welcome guys, Alan Wake 2 is finally here. Uh, this is by Remedy Games, their last game was Control. If you played that one, it's a really fun one. This one's getting rave reviews. It's supposed to be a lot better than the first game, and just a really great horror game in general. We're playing on a GTX 4090, and we have all the settings maxed out. Uh, this is the DLSS resolution, which is 1440p, but we're actually playing in 4K. Uh, we have, uh, we're playing in 4K, 60fps, V-Sync on, motion blur, film grain off. All the settings are on high, and then ray tracing is on high with their new ray construction DLSS. So we're gonna go ahead and jump in and play Alan Wake 2. Uh, we're going to, I'm gonna hide the cam for an immersive intro, and then we're gonna play on normal mode. For our first playthrough, we'll do normal. This is going to be pretty tough. Back to the beginning. We all come to a story with hopes and expectations, looking for an answer. Sometimes it would be better to live with that hope without ever knowing the full story. In a horror story, there are only victims and monsters. And the trick is not to end up as either. But trapped by the genre, we are all ripped to pieces along the way. This is not the story I hoped it would be. This is not the ending I wanted. This story will eat us alive. This story is a monster. And monsters wear many faces. Is that me? I did not give them permission to use my likeness, by the way. Got all the settings correct, so now the brightening brightness looks good. I am very naked right now. out there who are these people why am I naked what's going on I'm surprised how much that looks like me with my body type too <laughs> other than the hair I'm not hairy this is me after one too many horror months I can't tell the difference between reality Horror won't end. Horror month 2069. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, God.
the hell was that? Sprint by shit. out here. Thank you, Slot Shots, for the bits. Kill me. might take a little longer than I thought. I'm sorry I've been gone so much lately, Logan. Oh my god, Mom, it's not your fault. People get all murdery. What happened? Just work stuff. Right. Well, Dad and I are just watching the latest episode of Night Springs here. Mom, it's so good. No spoilers. I'll let you get back to the show. You were supposed to wait and watch with me. I love you both. This is what happens when you go on work trips, Mom. Love you, too. And say hi to Casey. Tell him to stop brooding so much. Logan? I will. Bye, kiddo. It's Sam. He's in the game. Logan thinks you should try cheering up. <laughs> Snarky kid. Wonder where she gets that from. Or is that supposed to be Max Payne? It can't be a coincidence that another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Feels like the killer's leaving us a message. Hmm. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. It's right up your alley. You should take lead. Think of me as the backup. Okay. Any words of advice? Nothing that would cheer anyone up. I 
I can't tell if that's supposed to be Max Payne or it's just Sam Lake it is Here in the we game. Are. Cauldron Lake. Time to get to work. A deputy was supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. There's the car, so where's the deputy? <laughs> Eaten by a bear? <laughs> I'll check out that map. Invitation. Uh, worth memorizing. Before we get swallowed up by the tree. A map. Press M for the map. So rental cabins. So this is like the map of the level. This is a pretty good map. Wait, your belly aching, Thornton. I'm up here now. <laughs> That's just how the cookie crumbles. Hey, over here. Hello. Hey there. Agent Casey, Hi. right? Sheriff Breaker said you'd be coming by to take over the case. You're half right. Anderson? Saga Anderson. I'll be leading this case. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. Shoot. Sorry about that, ma'am. I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that... You know, that, uh... Where's those damn bits gonna show up, Morgan? Federal agents right here, Thornton. My partner, Thornton, <laughs> down at crime scene. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. Right here? What do you mean? Are they with you? Oh, shit! They didn't hear me, did they? Oh, you get to choose options. Were there any witnesses? Yeah, a couple out of towners. I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at oh, night. I mentioned the city folk. It's pretty suspicious. Not that we have anything against city folk, right, Thornton? Right. But don't worry. Sheriff Breaker took them back to town a while ago. What can you tell us about the crime scene? Tell them about the heart. I was getting to that, Thornton. <clears throat> well, we reckon there are some uh, organs that are currently outside the victim's person when they should be, well, you know, inside. Uh, yeah, you can disable the epic achievements if you want to in your game. I want to see the body. How do we get there? Oh, sure, that's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake, around the old convenience store, you can't miss it. Everything's been closed since the area was fenced off. The store, the campground, all of it. Hey, Mulligan, tell them I'm here, Winky. I'll show them around. They got it, Thornton. Freaking Thornton. Oh, it looks like I have a turn out VSync. Do we get a lot of screen tearing or no? Not really. Let me try. Let me see what it looks like with motion blur on. We can handle this ourselves if they just stay the hell out of it. Yeah, I don't like motion blur. Yeah, I don't know. I, I always give Mosher Blur a chance, but just sort of like, eh. Shut up, Thornton. They can still hear you. I can hear you, Thornton. Before we get to the crime scene, there's time to review the facts of the case so far. Make sure I'm seeing the clues clearly. Case board. The Mind Place. My version of the Mind Palace technique. To sift through clues and work the case. Building the mind place again for each case. Using each field office as a model in my head. The facts are on the board. Everything we know about the previous murders. 
Worth taking another look. Case board is a mental technique. Allows Saga to analyze clues and progress uh, progress the investigation. I'll maybe move my camera here. Uh, the case board is mental investigation. You can use to move to remove around. You can use this to zoom. Ooh. Feel free to navigate the case board and leave by pressing escape. Control of goals. Get to the crime scene. Meet Deputy Thornton at General Store. Victim support missing in 2000 and... All victims missing in 2010. Uh, Ted Lane, dentist, stab wounds, bloating, bruising around the wrist. Uh, Wendy Davis, teacher, body bloated, large chest wound. Pensy Wolf, store owner, bruising, heart removed, strange tattoos. Murder method. Slight difference in murders. Uh, bloating, only commonality in, in bodies, but not cause of death. Chest trauma. Uh, exposure to water post-mortem. Bruising on wrists and legs. Deep gash in the chest. Heart missing. All bodies experience bloating. Killer profile. Post-mortem tattooing on the body. Uh, murder targets have no discernible common traits. Chest trauma resembles animal butchery techniques. The Cauldron Lake Murders. Slight differences in murders, bloating, and commonality between the two. The map. Let's click in the folder, dude. Let's, let's find it. Nothing. I see you're already hard at work, Anderson. Close to cracking it. We're just getting started. Let's head down the hill to the crime scene. Fucking nature. Gives me a headache. It's too much sky. True. Anderson? Close to cracking it. We're just getting started. Yes, Let's we are. Let's head down the hill to the crime scene. Hello, Ross may play Marty McFly. Fucking Into nature. Gotcha. Gives me a headache. I know. There's too much sky. Nature, man. Freaking nature. Hey, Casey. You putting me in charge. Why now? Look, Anderson. You're a... Better detective than I am. You've cracked cases that had the rest of us baffled. I don't want to slow you down. Are you thinking of retiring? What? You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. Mm-hmm. Real funny, Anderson. Yeah, real funny. This game looks gorgeous. The lighting is beautiful. Stairs are out. You okay to jump down? I'm not that old. <laughs> Which is scary because if this looks really good, then that means the monster is going to look really good and they're going to be really scary, which is not cool. The mighty mountain in the distance no other than Mirror Peak, the iconic trademark overlooking Cauldron Lake. From the right angle, its beauty reflected on the calm surface of the lake, mirroring in all its inverted glory. So we can zoom in on stuff. Who say anything about monsters? I hate to warn you, this is a um, this is a horror game, so there will be monsters. There will be scary. There will be evil. And if it's like if it's like Alan Wake One, there'll be a lot of mind messy stuff. And 
And I wonder, are we real or are we in one of Alan Wake's stories? We don't know yet. It could go either way. Not a bad place to get murdered. Hmm. Excuse me? Back to nature is your thing. No, ma'am. Ma there, there's no good place to get murdered. How about we don't get murdered? I don't care how beautiful it is. I'm gonna get murdered there. Damn. Should have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. The only thing around here that feels like home. You think the local law had the sense to put up a tarp? Hmm. If they did, next coffee's on me. Yes, Alan, uh, Alan Wake, the first game, he had some power with his, uh, he was able to, to what you call it, uh, write on a magic typewriter to make things real. Yeah, the lighting and the foliage look really good in this. General. Hi! Hi, you look over eager. Deputy Thornton, I take it. That's me, at your service, ready to get this case solved. Now the body's behind the store. Come on, I'll show you. So, the FBI, huh? <laughs> yes. That's so cool. Hunting down psycho serial killers and shootouts with the mob. You forgot the UFO cover-ups. What? <laughs> Those are real? You guys hiring? Oh, he's Let's just see this body, shall we? He only jokes because he knows it's true. We're on to them, chat. We know what they did. Now, this is the scene of the crime. We found him on the table. And we didn't touch nothing. You know, procedures oh, God. and stuff. Ah. <laughs> Thanks, deputy. No tarp. You owe me a coffee. Sorry. Okay. Let's start by examining our guest of honor. Does this fit the MO of the previous murders? Step one, examine the corpse. I know, jump scare. Body is positioned on the table. Ugh. Ritualistic. You launch your first key image. You can place it on the case board inside the mind palace. Uh, C allows Saga to see active clues. Key image can be selected with it and pressed on the case board. Another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Coincidence? I don't think so. Something definitely going on. Place him in a case board begins a new line of investigation. Another body has been found near the woods in Bright Falls. Perfect time to see if this link to the killings we were here to investigate. Keeps place so it will prompt a new question. Objectives are viewable in the case board as goals. Investigate the crime scene. Let me move myself up just a little bit on the side there. This mind palace technique is pretty cool. Oh my god, it's so little. <laughs> you cut clues uh, from the body to progress the investigation. The killer left the heart right next to the body. Mm -hmm. Let's go right about there. Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. Inside stab wound, chest cut open, heart removed. By the way, I did not give them permission to use my likeness in this game. I don't know how they managed to get it. I don't know if that 
Sam Lake invited me over to, to like have a coffee, and he had me walk through the front door, and there was this weird like scanning machine. I was like, "What is that all about?" You bet. He said it was something about protection, but I think they scanned my biometric data and put me in the game. He's sneaky, sneaky. So you can like peek all around. I wonder if there's like hidden clues that you can find. Newly discovered clues can place onto the open question. This murder solving stuff is pretty cool. Major chest trauma. Oh, I love this case board. This is done so well. This is really well done. Heart removed from chest, strapped by the wrists. Definitely matches the previous murders. But this time the heart and the straps were left behind. More clues to work with. This makes four murders that we know about. He had you walk through the door nude. I thought that I thought that was a, like a custom, but apparently it was just to get my data. The clues have uh, resolved. The clues have resolved the open question and locked a deduction. As you advance the, the investigation, new questions will be unlocked, updating your goals. Check the goals for pressing control. More about the victim. Learn more about the killer. Now, for to examine the case board and collect or collect new clues. Let's, let's find more clues. Who is our victim? Who killed him? Need to find more clues. Yeah, I need another clue. Multiple people were here. Ooh. Multiple killers? Yeah, definitely lots of bo boot prints around here. Looks like gas cans. Someone here had gas. Anything back here? I see logs. Could be a lumberjack. How about... What's over here? I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. Got it. So I can just leave if I want to. Cool. Is that open? Locked. They really don't want people coming in here. Yeah, that's sus. I don't like that. What's over there? Bunch of logs. But you can trust me. Are this game's hella demanding? Uh, we have the settings maxed, and yeah, it's... We're, but we're getting good frame right here. It's running really smooth for me. DLS 3.5, I think, is doing a lot of that work there. Anderson! Hey, let's get back to work over here, can we? Hello, this is Agent Anderson and Agent Casey, FBI. Yeah. We'd like to come in and ask a few questions pertaining to an investigation. Uh-oh. Nice talking to you, too. Suddenly, they're not answering the phone. Something suspicious is going on here. I don't trust it. Hmm. Let's look around here. What do we got? A creepy twig sculpture? <gasps> the Blair Witch. Wonder what's inside. I should take a look around for a way to open this thing. Confused? Follow these steps. Wash your hands. Take the chicken out of the fridge. Take a nap. What? <laughs> I've heard a lot of clues for puzzles over the years, but that has to be the strangest. Take the chicken out of the fridge? 
Do I have a flashlight? You can use... Okay, good E. Flashlight. So let's take the chicken out of the fridge. Can I open the fridge? No? What do we got? Why are these symbols everywhere? Uh, this is a warning to you fellow trespassers. They say the lake is a caldera, something formed up by an erupting volcano, it, or the sinkholes it leaves in its wake. It leaves in its Allen wake. <laughs> but what if that's not true? What if it's something else, something less natural, more man-made, intentional? I said the lake's not formed, it's designed, it has a purpose. The lake's a hiding place. Beneath the calm surface lies a secret machinery ready to be activated at the press of a button. And the people with the button, they're in that big house by the lake, preparing. I know it. First drawn, real water line. Real caldera is made from a volcano. Lava. Second drawn, water line. Engineering structure of strange machines. That is a deer. Okay, so it says take hey, a Hey, Casey. What's the forest's favorite shape? Please, Anderson. Just one case without the what? right to... A triangle. I don't ah! get it. Yes, you do. <laughs> a triangle. Oh, my God. Oh, jeez. This game, good. we just started. We've barely begun. But so far, it seems really good. Okay, so looks like... Triangles facing away from each other. Triangles touching tips. And then, what was the other clue? Take a nap. Wash your hands. So, sink. So, we need to find the sink one. Sink. Where's the sink? Here's the Nope. No sink. There's the sink. see a symbol next to the sink though is there a bathroom let's check the bathroom yep oh there it is uh triangles touching tips but facing opposite directions oh god i'm gonna have to remember this all right yeah, let's see touching tips but facing opposite direction that one and then the chicken one was facing away from... No. No. Touching tips. The last one was facing away from each other. Yep. Nailed it. Bullets. And healing pad. Oh, yeah. Don't take anything if you aren't one of the trees. I am a tree. <laughs> I think I'm a tree. Uh, I'll be a tree. I can do that. I'm getting flashbacks. Remember Ohio? Sure. Oh, no. The North Side Slasher. But that case was completely different. Yeah. The trees, Anderson. He hid the bodies in the forest. And welcome back, Anderson. No, I'm not back yet. I'm just chilling. I think I saw something. It'll only take a minute. I'll wait here. Yeah, you wait there. Let me look in the garbage. Nothing. Alright, so we looked over there. That's blocked. The witch's ladle. Let's that sounds in let's go to the Was witch's ladle. Was he killed ladle. here or brought here after? For display. Hmm, I don't know. Hopefully you find out. All 
All right, let's go down this way. Hello, Julia. Is Alan awake? Yes, Alan is awake. Although right now we're playing as, uh, oh god, what's her name? What's the lady's name again? I forgot it already. <laughs> Damn it. I wasn't paying attention. I was distracted setting up stream stuff. Her name is Agent Anderson. Saga Air. Saga. Saga Arison. Saga Anderson. Saga Anderson. I knew it, chat. It was aliens. Ultimate guide to spotting unidentified flying objects. Writing this down in case it happens again and I forget. I got that feeling again. Hit me suddenly at 1.15 a.m. after I'd finished my ama on the porch of the trailer. I got in the car and drove, chasing it. Starry night, not much moon, as expected, led me past the bright falls to Cauldron Lake. Tried to find the right spot, the right emotion, the right thought. The combination to have it all aligned, make it happen. Terrified it would. It, it didn't, not this time. Frustrated, but relieved. I scanned the sky for shapes and uh, the objects. Nothing. But when I blink repeatedly, I think look, I saw the afterimage, an octahedron, and it faded fast. When I got ready to drive back, I felt someone watching me here, but not he here. It's him. I know it is. Does he know I'm getting close? I'm on the right track. I was right to come here to Bright Falls. I often take um, my books and journal is entries and leave them. Kids lunchbox. An Alex Casey movie lunchbox. Epic. Casey Does that have to be so loud? Coincidentally, having the same name as a fake detective. He hates those cheesy crime books, but he really hates the movies. Uh, is there a way to, to mute those? I I don't know how in Epic. Where do you turn those off? They're like just really loud. Is it under the epic settings, maybe? Well, let me see. Uh, manuscript fragments used to upgrade weapons in the mine palace. Wait, so I, I'm mentally upgrading my weapon? Interesting. More bullets. Again and again. Hold the fire to activate auto fire. So increase the rate of fire. Land two headshots, quick session, sign to me for extended duration. Oh, so I have like little fragments and I need 12 of them to get the first upgrade. Okay, well that's cute. Did they plan for the murder to happen Is here? it mental dollars? I guess I have to use mental dollars for that. That's interesting. How do you like knitting, Hero? I, hand, I had it made just for you. Aw, that's cute. That's adorable. Yeah, some some mind cash. That seems like it might. I don't know. It might just be gibberish, but also it could be important. I don't know. Those symbols look like they're for a puzzle at some point, possibly. So, so far, this game uh, rewards you for exploring the environment and going off the beaten path. Which is always good. Because, raise your hand in chat, if you like to explore outside the main path of a game to make the game last longer. And also to get all those upgrades and loot. If you're that person likes to explore all the little nooks and crannies to get all the extra loot. Wait, what? Got all foggy there for a second. Where am I? All that little nook there. Is there? Hold on. This little corner of the map seems sus. Wait a minute. Isn't that the lady from the first game? That's the old woman that um, 
the main antagonist of the first game, the Shadow Lady. Did you know this entire area is inside a caldera? Yeah. This whole mountain used to be an active volcano. Imagine the force it took to carve this crater out of the earth. Caldera is a pretty rare, so be sure to take it in. So, essentially, we're standing in the gaping maw of hell. Uh-oh. You got it. I used to love geology when I was in school. Geology I rocks. I helped build a great baking soda volcano for her science fair. Cheating on a science fair? That's almost a crime, Anderson. I'm not going to say no to quality time with a volcano. I mean quality time. <laughs> There's nothing more precious than adult quality time. Uh, there's no background music because this is just like immersive. There's lots of background stuff though. Here the trees and the birds and the kappas frolicking in the forest. Is that something's there? Ooh. Secrets. Ooh, creepy cavern. This is called the Witch's Hut. Here live the witch of Colton Lake Blair. Her spirit may still haunt this place. Uh oh. The witch. Ma'am, I need you to put the wand down. Nothing in here? There's the there's a big cauldron, uh oh. Where she brewed her evil potions. Is somebody there's anything in here? Surprisingly, I thought they'd hide something in here. on the outside. Nope. It's a cool little building to explore. How about this way? Definitely something over here. Ooh, hello. Friday. Midge told me today that her family's moving away. This sucks. I haven't even told her that I like her yet. What's the point anymore? She said her parents want to get better jobs and get to a better school in a big city. I guess that's fair. Who wants to stay in bright fucking falls? Sunday. So I told her. She said thanks. Fucking kill me. <laughs> oh, that is such a per. Hey, you know, I, I really like you. I, I, I really like you like you. Um, thanks. Walks away. <laughs> it's like. Ugh. She might as well take a knife and stab him in the heart. <laughs> uh, Monday, I snuck out last night. Went to the uh, big house by the lake. Instead of uh, watching it from here, like I, I always do. Instead of just sitting around like I always do. Screw that. Anyway, some weir something weird's going on down there. I'll, I'm going to find out what. going to go back there tomorrow with the better gear. Bet I can find a way inside the building. Take some photos. It's going to be Epic. Oops. It's going to be epic games. <laughs> Ooh, bullets. Or what is that, actually? What did I? What's the gear? How do I open up my gear? Options. Controls. Inventory is control. <laughs> Wasn't expecting control to be the button. Oh, it's a battery pack. Oh, I wonder what I'll need a battery pack for, chat. Hmm. I just don't know. A lunchbox again. Ooh. Who's leaving these out here? 
I knew how crazy things can get around here, but if you're ever feeling scared, remember that Alan is watching over us. Alan? Manuscript fragments. Someone who's knitting and leaving. Who's Alan? Hmm. What a mysterious name to just leave there. I don't know an Alan. His name's probably something silly like Alan Sleep or something. Alan Knapp. Oh, uh, looks like Doomsday is gifting three Horror Month mugs to chat. If you want a chance to win a Horror Month mug, which looks like this. Uh, be sure to type exclamation point enter in the chat for a chance to win. And if you win, go to dansgaming.store slash redeem to get your free item. Can't go any further. Water's too deep. Oh, you can go to the side, though. That uh, looks like another healing item, possibly. Ooh. So there was a secret chain thing hidden right there. That was a world first discovery. How about this way? Nothing. Uh, the, whoever, when you gift an item through our store, um, the gifter pays the shipping already. So the person that gets it is 100% free. The shipping's already paid for. Again, our store is at dansgaming.store if you want some Horror Month merch. Or to browse what is being given away. This game called, it's called Alan Wake 2. I'm going way off the beaten track. What's this way? Back in the general store. This is where we saw that guy before, I think. I didn't actually go into the general store. Anything in here? They left a lot of garbage. Not the fastidious type. Garbage? Oh, yeah, I see copies of Skull Island and a game called Lord of the Rings Golem. Yeah, definitely garbage everywhere. Large amount of collectibles. It's like another clue. Lighting looks so nice in this game. Oh, hello. Monday, 9-13. Some suspicious activity spotted. Uh, the fielder th uh, thought he saw movement in the bushes. Footprints around the area were found, but uh, some uh, were compromised by the fielder. Note to self, train the fielder. Uh, Tuesday, 9 uh, slash 4. Nothing report. Some animals regular. Wednesday, 9 slash 5. Hunters out after dark. Poachers? Heard some gunshots. Not one of ours. Got to keep an eye out on these people. They got to get... Uh, they get more they bargain for out there. Hmm. Really? Like, maybe shadow creatures of death? That door is locked. There must be some way in. Check behind the counter. General store. Let's check behind the general store. If you find anything over there. Hey, uh, 
Logan's birthday is coming up. <clears throat> I I need toy ideas. Toy. Toys. <laughs> She's 14, Casey. Yeah, I don't buy a 14-year-old okay. toy. So, where do I get her? Cash. Get her a book. Cash. Something weird and dark. Teenagers Maybe want cash. Get her back into reading. Just give them cash. You're not going to know what they want. Just give them cash. They'll buy to what they want. Lost, Anderson. I have never understood why people find the gift of cash insulting. Cash is great. It shows me that you want me to get whatever I want specifically. It's like, perfect. I don't have to exchange it. It's just I get exactly what I want. What a perfect gift. Thank you. I would love cash. Any idea who the victim is? Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. He came to town about 13 years ago. Now, I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, until now. Nightingale? Robert Nightingale? Oh, yes. You probably knew him. Brothers in arms. Oh, and sisters. <laughs> Clues have been discovered by speaking to people as well as examining your surroundings. Oh, I didn't look at that thing over there. Oh, hello. So you knew our victim. Well, I didn't recognize him in his current state. But yeah, I ran into him a few times at Quantico. Never worked any cases together. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Got the boot pretty quick after that. Really? Nightingale went missing 13 years ago. Nightingale. Same as all the other victims. Uh, Certainly fits the pattern. Makes me wonder what was going on that year. I remember Nightingale. Probably something this town wants to forget. So what happened to Nightingale after the Bureau let him go? I only know the rumors. Depression led to booze, booze led to paranoia. He got some wild ideas in his head, chased ghosts until he fell off the map. Guess he ended up here. I bet there's more to that story. But no happy ending. Uh, Agent Nightingale was the guy in the first game. Thank you, Lisa Marie, for the for the cash and the super chat. Appreciate that. Um, that was the crazy cop that started firing at Alan Wake just out of nowhere. Hmm. Someone left in a hurry. Knocked the tripod over. Was it for a camera? Someone was drinking beer. Beer. They spent time here. Waiting. Too much investigation, not too much horror? Oh, dear God, Chatter, please. All the best horror games have good exposition. I would much rather, uh, I would much rather a game set up a good story than to just be a jump scare simulator. There will be plenty of... this If it's like the first game, there will be so much, so much horror, so much combat. Uh, jump People that only want jump scare simulators, why we get all those shitty um, games on Steam that I have to play all the time. I have no story. They're nothing but walking around and all of a sudden, boo, boo, boo. Boo! Boo! And people are like, <laughs> he got startled. <laughs> so funny. Getting startled. Lol. Find evidence for the killer and the victim. Okay, he definitely knew him. Victim is not Nightingale. Robert the Nightingale, killers. ex FBI, came to Bright Falls 13 years ago. Definitely multiple killers. I need one more piece of evidence. 
I love genre bending. I love when they like mix two genres together, like a detective game and a horror game. If you find a way to find a nice balance between the two, then it's going to be a great game. But so far, the investigation stuff in this game, fantastic. Very good. It makes L.A. Noir look like an early access piece of crap. <laughs> well, okay. I, I am being facetious. That game is far older. But I liked, I loved L.A. Noir. The, the investigation was just very, very shallow in that game. Very shallow. I hope this one is a little more in-depth. It seems like it might be, which I'm excited about. Uh, dating game plus horror game, Doki Doki Literature Club. Large amount of blood on the table. True. The victim died here. I think that's everything. For now, at least. Mm -hmm. You think? Anything clicking yet? Not sure. Need to think about it. Let me go in my mind palace. Heavy blood splatter on the table. Boot prints indicating multiple killers. Quite the party. Premeditated or spontaneous? Well, we found beer bottles. They were waiting. Knocked over in a hurry. They planned for the murder to happen here. Passing the time with equipment ready. They were waiting for him. But why Nightingale? He's been missing for 13 years. Yeah. Why here? Why now? Hmm. Profiling. Get into the subject's head. See what they saw. Feel what they felt. Ooh, Use another. whatever I know about them to guide my intuition to a revelation. Piece it together. I love this investigation stuff. This is fantastic. I like this. Using your intuition, Saga can discover new clues by profiling people of interest. Missing person. Agent Nightingale has been MIA for 13 years. How did he end up here? Up from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. He was there too. You are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. Robert Nightingale came to the lake God. before his murder. Agent Smart, thank you for the bits. And you kindly go screw yourself. Appreciate that. Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? Flip the switch. It goes click. Lights are off. But somebody's home. Somebody's home. This wasn't some random act of violence. This was a ritual. And Nightingale a component. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. Container for something? Why would... Came from Cauldron Lake. But why now, after the near? Where has he been? Wait, so he was inside of the lake for 13 years? The lake is connected to Nightingale somehow. Casey, let's take a look down by the lake. Lead the way. Sounds good. Uh, this way, right? Right. Well, okay, well, I'll just, uh, I'll just wait here. Did anyone else, um... When you this when you saw you Sam Anderson, Lake, did something happen at the lake? I think Nightingale. Can when you see Sam Lake for the first time, I'm like, oh my god, that's Max Payne. And then when he speaks, it's so unlike the Max Payne voice. It's it's like shocking to the system. It's like, whoa, <laughs> he's a very came up from that very direction. nice sounding gentle lake, person. Probably looking for very shelter. soft safety. They were waiting Gentle for him. Voice. When you're ready, I'd love to hear what you put together. Is so he far. Swedish? I think. Sure. It's not that complicated. 
Nightingale was out in the or woods finish? alone at night. Possibly finish. Knew it. The killers knew he was here, ambushed him, dragged him to the campgrounds, strapped him to the table, cut his heart out. But then they were interrupted by those witnesses, the bookers. The job is unfinished. That seems pretty complicated to me. What was this guy doing skinny dipping at this time of year? I haven't figured that part mm -hmm. out yet. Mm hmm. Lots of questions. Lots of answers uh -oh. for us to find. I didn't know trees got that big. Holy hell. Creeps. You need to get out more. That is it a is big creepy, tree. Though. A witch with no heart. A strange echo of owl murder. Hmm. There is no mystery in Cauldron Lake being named after its cauldron shape. And yet, there are many mysterious sto <coughs> stories about the lake. Uh, it being a gloomy doorway to the underworld. Or of, of a witch whose cauldron the lake really was. Legend tells that when the affections of a local sheriff went unanswered, he accused the lady in question of having bewitched him. She was drowned, but her, but her uh, dropped ladle grew into a strange tree named Witch's Ladle. The woman returned to avenge her wrongdoers. If she was not a witch before she was, before she was one now, she killed the sheriff, drowning him in the lake. Then she took out his heart and locked it in a box. With the heart, she would summon him from the lake to ex exact revenge on her behalf. Or so the legend goes. That's creepy. So can I go behind and put my head through the hole and become the witch's heart? That'd be fun. Witch's sign. Hi. Oh. What's that? Tracks. Barefoot. Nightingales? They come out from under the boulder. It makes no sense. Wait a minute, why what is this? There's a piece of paper on the ground. The victim was one of their own. Per Nightingale got missing 13 years ago. He suddenly had vanished, returned, turned up. Uh, and then there was this page, the page, that first page they found, the first step down in the terrifying depths. Secret. Terrifying. Reading the words, these words, felt like a message was a message. Someone knew they were here, what they were doing. Someone played a, a game with that. Even if they knew it would end up hurting them, lean them on and I, I can't read the whole page. It won't let me pick it up. It won't even let me read it very much. It's censored. It's a m oh, then now we read it. <laughs> Damn it. A page full of text on one side, not a printout written with a typewriter. Old school. Lines scratched out and edits added with a pen. Mm hmm. Like a manuscript. Page of a story. Hmm. The killer left a message. It's for us. The text is about us. The victim was one of their own FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. And then there was the page they found. Uh oh. The first step down into terrifying depths. Reading, Reading the, words. the words. These words felt like a message. I hear Alan. Someone knew they were here. Someone playing a game with them. An invitation. How could they not accept? Even if they knew it would end up hurting them. Someone's been watching us. Playing a sick game with us. You were right. This is right up my alley. Nightingale came this way. Thank God we needed that uh, epic Either he dropped this page, uh, or the killers left it for us. That page is I should profile suspicious. Nightingale about this page. 
I'll look around. All right, let's do some more profiling about the page. We found a page in the woods. A story about these events. What is Nightingale's role in this? I carry his words close to my chest now. Inside. The awful truth. You must dig it out. Something was put inside him. In his chest. I must find out what. Something is in his chest? Oh, God. What would they have put in there? What if it's candy for Halloween? Uh, we're stuck. Uh, don't forget to check the Mind Palace. Well, thank you, game. That, that's like really deep water right there. Can I go over here? How about in there? No. This junk, this is one of the nicest looking jungle slash forest areas I've seen in a game in a while. It looks really like authentic. It's very believable. They did a great job with it. Sorry, forest, swamp, whatever you want to call it. Whatever it is. Welcome back, Anderson. Don't call me Anderson when that tone, sir. Point of interest is grayed out. I went through the witch's hut, didn't I? Yeah. We grabbed the box over there. Something is in his chest. Let's go back. How do I hotkey something? Wait, charm bracelet. Bracelet made by Logan for her mother has hooks to attach the charms to. Oh, must be some sort of upgrade system. Uh, in Outlet 2, you play as two characters. One, you play as Saga Anderson, and two, you play as uh, Alan Wake. You could look at it like how many characters are in the new Alan Wake game. Two. It's two. I like this new character. She's been hey, great. You made it back. Good. I hope you didn't get stuck in any of those big puddles. Crazy flooding down there, huh? Just like I said. Yeah, I need to dig in his chest, sir. So I think there's something in there. Weapon upgrade. What was that? My first ever prank on Casey. A true classic. That that is not a prank. That like that ruins a meal. That's not a funny prank. That is a wasting lots of money prank. Oh. That leaves the Iron Palace. If only the rest of the bureau knew what a softy Casey is. I can just imagine them having um having uh, Sam Lake around the office to take random photos. Okay, go in the break room. We need you to, to be happy, Sam. Miss you, kiddo. Oh, I'll her be daughter. home soon. Ooh. Mom may be gone, but whenever I read this, I feel like she's still here. Saga, for what it's worth, I think it's important that Logan grows up seeing you do what you love, what you're great at. That will teach her so much. There will be times just like this when you question your choices, your competence, even your own sanity when things get dark. Remember to trust and love yourself as much as your family does. You won't be perfect, but know you'll be amazing. Love you always, Mom. Aww. Manuscript pages.
case board. Find evidence. Victim came from the lake and trail has gone cold. I think he came from the lake. But his tracks make no sense. Yeah. Nightingale has something inside of him. Reading the words, they felt strange like a message someone playing with them. <laughs> Found all I can here. Time to properly examine the body. See what I can find inside. Now here's a question. Um, why don't you just look inside the body in the first place? Maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. Like, Casey, I think something's been put inside Nightingale's body. Let's tell the deputies to get the body to the town morgue. Okay. Oh, I can't. T I can't just. You know how much time I can save if I just reach on in there and pull something out. I just save a lot of time. Deputy, I want the body taken back to town for a proper examination ASAP. Well, sure, but the coroner won't be back in town for another week after Deer Fest. Not a problem. Deer Fest. I'll do it myself. Oh, and Sheriff Breaker called to say he's got the bookers at the Oh Deer Diner in town. Oh, and I've got a key to the gate. It's a shortcut back to the parking lot just up the hill. Thank you, ma'am. Sir. Sir. Thank you, sir. Thanks. Take the car back to Bright Falls. Let's get the car. Drive to Bright Falls and talk to these witnesses, the bookers. At the diner, right? I, I could use a cup of coffee. Let's try that shortcut the deputy mentioned. Sounds good. Use the, the key. If there was a shortcut, why don't we just use that? Seems like a nice town so time. far. Just... Now let's make sure that I went everywhere first. I went to the buzzer, didn't do anything there. Got the item there. Went inside there, got that. I should have gotten everything, I think. Wait a minute. What's that? Sam, I'll be back. I want to walk around for a minute. You know where to find me. Sam, I'll be right back. My my gamer sense is just tingling like you you missed something, you missed something. So I am going to go find the loot. It is my goal to make sure we find all the the loot. If I leave here, I will be locked out of this area probably for a while. Or it may change and not be the same when I come back and all the items will be gone. And then I will be very upset. So down this way. If I find even one item, one clue, one puzzle, then I will be happy and I will cheer. This game is gorgeous. I know. It's about as gorgeous as Chad is. All oh, their lovely, beautiful colors today. Lovely letters. Your emotes are looking nice today, chat. Hmm. Mortar Falls. Powerful feet of nature revive the spirit as it does the surrounding nature. The churning and grinding waters at the bottom of the water resemble a mortar and pestle. Quite like the one the witch of the cauldron lakes be able to use during the travel of the night sky. There's another lunchbox. <gasps> we would have missed this loot. My dad's say when the tough gets going. When the going gets tough, the tough gets going. Not sure where the tough gets going to, but maybe find it inspiring. We found loot. I would have missed out on loot. Let's 
over there. Alright, let's go up this path, see if there's something up here. Can't fit the clues all together yet. Heart removed, tripod, tracks leading to a dead end. Wait. A tripod. We read this on the way in. To record a, a snuff film? Maybe. And why take out his heart just to throw it away? To stuff. Missed the target board thingy. Uh, we, I don't have access to my gun yet. Oh, wait, never mind. I do. Actually, I don't. Quit. It's not working. Okay, quick slot. One. Yeah, she can't use the gun yet. They won't let me. So it looks like it's locked for now. Yeah, I can't use it to probably get to start seeing monsters and stuff. Because I don't think you're supposed to just be firing your gun all willy-nilly whenever you want. Like, this this way. can't be the right way. Uh, you play as Alan Wake 2 in this. Alan Wake is stuck in the um, the story world, whereas she's in the real world. So you have two different perspectives. But you get to play as both characters. Okay, well, I think, I think I've gone everywhere. So, but we did that, we did miss one lunchbox, so I'm glad we found the one lunchbox. All right, now we can go back to the lake, back to the phone booth. Wait, phone booth. Phone booths were like safe places in Allen Week 1, if I remember correctly. It's been a while. Down on the right. Round this way. Uh, this game will be, if you're like nervous about horror, you get weapons in this one. So you I always find if you have a weapon, it makes the um, scary stuff a little more or less scary since you have a little bit of power to fight back. Did you get lost, Anderson? No, I was getting a lunchbox. Very important FBI work. You don't know me. You look like Alan. Sorry, you look like Max Payne, sir. What's over there? I'm going to go check something out. Be right back. Ooh. Got it. Something's up here. Another one of those lunchboxes. <gasps> We're all in this together, hero. Have a heroic day. More fragments. Ooh. Lunch is very important. Always worth exploring. Thank you for liking the live. Hey, look over there. Oh, and thank you for the uh, game controller. Appreciate that. Okay. Sorry. 
Sorry, I'm muting the sound on that. I didn't realize there's a doorbell sound. And TikTok chat, they can gift you uh, like little equivalent of bits. And that one's making sound. <laughs> so it's like, oh, who's at the door? <laughs> yeah, I muted that. All right, let's go. Shortcut key. Wait, is that pages over there? <sighs> I'll be back in a second. Roger. The rarest wildlife in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, I finally made my way to Cauldron Lake. The fence was easy to climb over with the proper gear and skills, which I thankfully possess. Next goal, spotting the rare and elusive orange-crowned warbler. <laughs> that sounds made up. Uh, a late, a little late in the season, but hopefully I can catch it before that sound make begins its journey south. Notice intriguing behavior in the surrounding common uh, bird life. Seem to be alarmed and swarm around the lake. No braids, birds of prey nearby. There are some strange sounds carried on the winds, however. Nothing I can recognize or explain. Getting a little uh, concerned, I might uh, have to spot. Might have to find another spot elsewhere. The sounds are getting closer. Uh, moved inland. Foliage is stunning. Must be come back in the fall. Had to stop and sketch this gorgeous vine maple. Just at the way that uh, just the way the Methelusa's beard hangs off it. This is why trees are better than people. You know, that's a statement I can agree with. Trees are better than people in a lot of ways. Speaking of people, uh, some drunk guy staggered around forest earlier acting weird. Maybe drugs? Kept my distance. Should probably find another spot. It's so annoying. After I saw that weirdo guy, I decided to change spots again. Moved up the mountain a bit and found a fantastic overlook to camp out uh, at. I'm more interested in this Alaskan onion grass, invasive but edible and surprisingly tasty. Started hearing wolves or wild dogs or something like 10 minutes ago, but they sound wrong. Rabies? I wanted to leave the sun. I want to leave, but the sun is going down and my stupid phone is dead. I'm going to hide in the tent and hope they go away. Something is really not right about this place. I wish I had the ability to just, like, stop, make a sketch, and have it look beautiful in my notes. That man is living a different life than me. Maybe I should me. call David. See how Logan's doing. A very Define different life. Anderson. What's got you so worried? I just feel bad being gone so long. He... I've never taken a case this far from them. Uh, they can manage without you for a few days. He knows what all these, like, birds are and plants and stuff and... I can barely remember where my phone is. We just live very different lives, have very different experiences. Here we are. He can draw. Let's drive back to town and meet the sheriff at the diner. Now, we could do that, ma'am, but something's telling me that there is something. There's a conversation right there straight ahead of me. I think I saw something. Oh. It'll only take a minute. I'll wait. Thornton told me we're shipping the body out. We'll, we'll take care of that for you. Don't you worry about that. Yeah, proper police work. <laughs> Thank you, you, sir. You can trust us like you can trust the, um, uh... uh the blossoming of the <laughs> lilies in spring. That was beautiful, Thornton. <laughs> okay. Uh, Right. The blossoming something lilies and spring. <gasps> Shut up, Thornton. They can still hear you. My God, I get out of earshot barely, and he's, like, talking smack about me? I thought he was nice. But here he is calling me an out-of-towner, like I'm Welcome someone from out of town. Oh, wait, I am. I mean, I technically am, but it's still rude. Anything along this path? Nope. 
We gotta get in the car. Now here's the real question. When I get in this car, will it be a cussing? Or do I actually drive the car? Alright, let's find out. Cutscene. I can't get that manuscript page out of my head. I've never seen killers reach out so directly before. Damn impressive work so far. With your technique, these hunches were moving fast. I wasn't sure about taking a case so far from home, but I'm thrilled to be here for this mystery. Need to swing by the lodge to get anything from the field office? No, I'm all set. I'll park there anyway. Wow, that looks I wanna nice. I want to walk to the diner, get a feel for the town. That town looks great. All right, chat. The diner's just up the waterfront. Should I keep the sheriff and our witnesses waiting. Have I some exciting coffee. news. Deer fest has happened in this week. Oh yeah, everything deer related. Mother effing deer fest. I'm. I've been so I'm hyped for deer fest. I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. Historical Alderwood place of lodge of Bright Falls. Building structure is part of the early settlements in the greater Bright Falls area. Built in 1890, this building has been both private and public use. The years and has bravely stood the test of time. 2015, it was carefully taken apart and relocated here in town, downtown Bright Falls, where it was rebuilt in its original glory, log by log. The Elder Palace um, Lodge reopened in Bright Falls in 2016 and has served its customers faithfully ever since. Wait, they moved this entire building? So sleepy. That feels like that'd be a lot of work. Oh God! What is? It's very dark in here. Hello, sir. Sir. Hello. No. Okay. I'm going behind the counter here. Don't question me. Uh, just a few more days. You can tell he does. He's. <laughs> he probably doesn't get paid enough to care. <laughs> like whatever. I don't care. You can come back here. It's very dark in here. The lighting looks amazing, though. It's beautiful. Look at the lighting. Damn. Oh, there's the map of Bright Falls. Hell yeah. Oh, it's big. Damn. Let's follow Sam for a bit before we... So I not Sam like. <laughs> hey, your your name's Comer. Hi. Yeah. Okay. Th I'm following you, buddy. Just how much coffee have you had today, Charlie? <laughs> Oh dear, diner. Don't know, don't care. <laughs> <laughs> how much have you had? Not enough. That's how much. <laughs> Never enough coffee. Oh, that rich, bittersweet nectar. Get it in coffee world. Get it where you can. Get it now. <laughs> Jesus, Charlie. I think you've had enough, sir. Someone needs to cut that man off. He's had one too many. Now let's see if these NPCs Isn't are actually working to hang the sign up, or if they're looping awkwardly in a way that doesn't make much sense. Do you think the amount of hot caffeinated beverages you've downed has anything to do with it? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what is the goal here? Are you are you trying to hang it or? Like you are, you're, you're not making any progress right now. 
very strange. I see what they're trying to hang, but... Oh, deer. Cute. Deer are amazing. Like, dear lord. Let me guess. The FBI. Welcome to Bright Falls. It's nice to have you here. I got you both some coffee. Oh, it's Washington's finest. Ooh. You must be Sheriff Baker. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. I'm set for coffee. You know, I wouldn't say no to another. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. This is Agent Alex Casey. Tim Breaker. And let me just say, I'm happy you two are here. Frankly, we could use the help. Wait a minute. Is that Iceman? Your deputies said you had a couple of witnesses here. They made them sound like suspects. I don't recognize him with the beard. Still on about that? No, no. The bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but you can decide for yourselves. They're just inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. I'll see what they have to say. Casey, you compare notes with the sheriff. Take your time. Yeah, it's the same actor from Quantum Break. We've looked through the case files you sent over, Sheriff. Have you had many people besides the known victims go missing? Sure. But it's slowed down ever since Cauldron Lake was fenced off. Let me guess. Missing person cases spiked around 2010. The fence was built just after. Yeah, that's exactly right. Hmm. That's sus. You can go ahead, Anderson. We'll be here. Oh, I got interview people. Okay. I like this new character that we're playing. I can't playing believe as. that happened. I still feel like I'm gonna be sick. Come on, Ed. Have some pie. It'll take your mind off things. Excuse me. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. Are you the Bookers? That's us. I'm Tammy, and he's Ed. Hello, officer. Just Saga is fine, Ed. So, are we being charged with anything? Because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. Take a bath, screw into pillows, that kind of thing. We're not charging you. I just have a few questions. Nothing to stress about, okay? What were you doing at Cauldron Lake last night? Yeah. I'm a writer. True crime. We're here from New York, doing some research on a famous novelist, Alan Wake, who went missing here. I was down at the lake, getting Alan some who? details. Perfectly legal. Never heard of this Alan... What's say Alan Wake? That sounds sus. That sounds made up. So what did you see in the woods? This naked dude came out of the lake. <laughs> and he was acting crazy, shouting weird shit at us. He must have been on something. Unless skinny dipping at dawn is a thing around here. Then we heard shooting. We ran into these psychos in deer masks. They were tearing into the naked guy with knives, like some kind of satanic cult. And then we bolted and called the cops. Why do you think it was a cult? What makes you say it was a cult? <laughs> the masks and knives aren't enough. Yeah. They were shouting, cult of the tree, the cult of the tree, cult of the tree. Oh, and then we found out. The whole thing was terrifying. What was that overlay? That's all. You know, I wasn't suspecting you guys of any crimes or anything, but I noticed that you ordered pie and have not taken a single bite of pie. That is abnormal behavior. Who does that? Who gets pie and doesn't eat pie? Hmm. I'm going to have to take a sample of each of these pies to make sure that they are actually pies. And actually, I'm going to eat both of them just to make sure that they're Hello. legit. Yeah, it's very suspicious. Something off. Hello there. You know what's very strange? No one's talking in this town. 
no one. Not a word. It's very weird. All right, Mind Palace. Interview the witnesses at the diner. Oh, did I miss a witness? Enjoy your day. Am I supposed to ask you something else? No? Where's the other witness? Employees only. Hmm. Let me look around and double check in here to make sure that nothing suspicious in here going on. Hmm. <gasps> Dear Lord. Hey there, Mr. Deer. <laughs> you remind me of a dream I had. <laughs> Ma'am, why are you doing that? <laughs> why are you, one, talking to it, and then when no one else is around... Okay. I'm thinking the main character might be a little... But hey, you know what? It's just... she's a lot, If she wants to talk to them in private, that's fine. Just a little weird. Can't open this with my bare hands. Um, you could try. Never know until you try something, ma'am. Saga. Toilet. Hmm. Wait a minute. I can tell. Someone got into some shit in here. I smell a load of crap. It won't open. It won't open. Very, very weird. Why they have so many signs? Diners love to slap signs all over the walls. This is exactly why I hate small towns. Keep it down, Ed. Okay, I think we need to profile them at our profiling table. The cult of the tree. What aren't the bookers telling me? I found their necklace. The symbol is two triangles. The cult wants their spruce tree back, Tammy. Finders keepers, Ed. My publisher will want this on the cover. Tammy found something. A necklace belonging to one of the cultists. What? How do you just know that? The bookers were at Cauldron Lake. Why? The fence was built to hide what's there. They say the rider fell in the lake. Private party. No trespassing. My book has questions. Past the bolt cutters. They broke in for the sake of Tammy's book. Nothing to do with a the murder. They were telling the truth. So they might have evidence. So you found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. Okay. Wow. How did you put that together? It's evidence. <laughs> you need to hand it over. I use my mind okay. palace. Okay. Told you not to keep that thing to me. Yeah, I use my mind palace powers. Sorry if you're unfamiliar with it. Thanks. This could prove to be helpful. Do I'm me a favor. Touch that with my bare hands and contaminate it. Any more questions? <laughs> like we'd even dream of missing dear Oh God. Saga. Saga Anderson. As I live and breathe. I've never known someone with the name Saga before. That's that a first awful, for me. Awful thing happened to your baby girl. How are you? Um, I'm sorry. Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. It's me, silly. Rose. You know me. I don't think I do. And what horrible thing happened to my baby girl? She drowned your daughter that's so weird you don't remember what how do you know have a daughter what oh 
I know what this is. You're blocking out your traumatic memories. Happens on TV all the time. No. You're mistaking me for someone else. <laughs> if you say so. Who just blurts that out? Like, just... Even if it was true that our daughter drowned, why would you lead with that? Like... If someone doesn't want to remember something so horrible, then... You don't just keep bringing it up. Like, what the a hell? murdering a man is pretty extreme. Why didn't you tell the police what you saw? We did. We told those two idiot deputies they didn't listen. And they wanted to throw Ed and I in jail for that murder. You know, Bright Falls is just Alabama with bigger trees. This is my case now, and no one is throwing you in jail. If you need anything else, just come to me. Got it. Thank you, Saga. You're welcome. Rose. You know, so I don't I like you. So, Rose, help me out. How do you think we know each other? We all know each other around here. It's been a while, but I never forget a face. Wait, did she or used to live here? Order. Guess I just have one of those faces. Wait, so... Did Saga used to live here and forgot about it? Seen anything out of the ordinary in town lately? Suspicious people in deer masks? No one's suspicious, but soon enough there'll be lots of happy people wearing deer masks for deer fest. Practically everyone will be wearing one. Good to know. What was Rose the name of the waitress in the first game? Remember there was a waitress in this place. Was her name Rose as well? Yeah, All so set. this is the same lady. My guys have Nightingale at the morgue if you're ready to go take a look. Let's go. Hey. Well, Casey, you I got a lead. A Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. Uh oh. Murder cult. Not a Fuck. murder cult. Have you heard of this cult of the tree, Sheriff? Only the urban legend. If you're in the woods at night, the cult will get you. That sort of thing. Thank you, Liz, for the raid. Appreciate we're that. Find out you're the Grand Wizard or something. Are we? I played some D&D &D back in the day. The wizard was always my favorite class. Morning, Sheriff. <laughs> Looks like you have some guests. Ah, uh, morning, Ted. Wizard was my favorite yeah, class. Real important guests. Deerfest. Always draws a crowd, right? <laughs> Too true. More the merrier. Have a good one, Sheriff. Interesting town where the biggest event of the year is an event hey, celebrating about that deer. Waitress from the diner. <laughs> Rose? It's very yeah, she's charming. A bit of a space case. It always has been. Why? What'd she do now? She kept saying that my daughter drowned. She even knew my name. It was all very weird. Rose has a talent for saying the weirdest thing possible. But it's best not to take it personally. Yep, just gonna look over here for lunch boxes and stuff. Off the beaten track. Just looking around. Ooh, what's that? Can't open this with my bare hands. So we must need some sort of key for that. But there are locked doors and stuff all over the place. Which means A, a there's probably lock picks, or B, there's bolt cutters, because horror games love bolt cutters. It is their favorite. And valves. Bolt cutters and valves. Yeah, we love them. I am back, sorry. Oh, we're gonna go examine the body. Hey, Corpse is downstairs ready to go. Yep, in the morgue, all prepped. Ugh. I'd like to take a closer look as soon as possible. Lead the way, Sheriff. We're gonna go to the morgue. Oh, this is the Bright Falls Sheriff Station. Anything you need, just uh, let us know. We appreciate the support, Sheriff. Gonna grab this map, Sheriff. I'll be right with you, sir. See you yep, around. Yep. Just here to pay my ticket. Whenever you're ready to take my money. 
They're doing a lot of exposition. It's been about uh, so we share a almost two hours and no horror stuff. The shoestring budget. At least not much I of it yet. I guess you guys don't have that problem, though. Our Just only corner little. rotates between a few other towns, and he's away this week. But you can handle this. Lots right? of subtle hints. I'm qualified to perform examinations. Yes. I do like how they are setting up the story. They're tying it into the first game with characters and events and Something about more memories. They always cheer me up. I can't say I feel the same. What? Excuse, did you did he just say that? Morgs cheer me up. Okay. Let's take a look at our patient. Somehow I have a cameo in this game. I don't know how. Let's start with the external inspection before performing the internal examination. What was the cause of death? What other clues can the body give me? There's writing on here. Can't make it out. Writing? Writing? On a heart? How'd they manage that? This looks like text. A tattoo? Nightingale didn't strike me as a tattoo guy. Huh. Defensive wounds. He put up a fight. This one looks like he's gonna explode if we kill him, though. We gotta be careful. The body shows signs of being submerged in water post-mortem. It doesn't add up. What's inside the cavity? Uh -huh. They did leave something inside his chest. What is it? Yeah, I guess they mean the phrase boomer. It's gonna go boom. Examination of Nightingale. Time to see what Nightingale's body can I love tell us. this clue board. This clue board's amazing. Anything to learn from the body. One. Chest ripped open, something visible inside. Keep trying. Cause of death. Well, he died of natural causes because not have dying from not having a heart is just natural. <laughs> Floating. Bruises, defensive wounds chest wound is cause of death but the corpse is bloated waterlogged doesn't add up we can end our investigation too you don't investigate natural deaths there's no reason to ritual writing there's definitely something in his chest did the killers leave it there Can you look inside and see what the hell's in there? Wait, there's multiple cases in here? This file looks big. Are there gonna be lots of cases to solve? <gasps> That'd be amazing. Cause there's different ones here. Point of just, uh, Saga's started quick, ooh. Alice Casey lunchboxes. Finding a Casey movie lunchbox out here can't be a coincidence. Ooh. Another message. Hmm. Pointer just let track objects and information that uh, Saga has acquired to chart collection process. Bright Falls area. Uh. Oh, Calder Lake, actually. So this is some sort of case, all these lunch boxes we've been finding. <sighs> what if they'll tell me how many there are? Oh, yeah, right there. I, I missed four. <laughs> I, I, there were some places that were blocked off, so I think we can go back at some point. What's inside the chest? Oh. Is it a page? This is 
same type of page we found at Cauldron Lake. Uh-oh. Nightingale hunted Saga. Didn't see her. The Taken could not see into bright light. Light hurt them, made them vulnerable. Nightingale had no heart, but here he was. Killing. Someone's created a fucked up fantasy about us. Hey, hold on. We found these kinds of pages. I didn't think they were relevant to this case. I have them right here. From Alan Wake 1. What? Sheriff? What the hell? Oh! Show me the clicker. I am so strong. Hey, set to get into the light. Try to send light to avoid being detected by enemies. So it's the opposite of a of most stealth games. I don't have my gun anymore. He can't see me in the light. My gun's out in the hall. Gotta Why am I naked? Safe Haven will store some of your health if you attack or leave or attack from a safe haven while in combat. It'll become temporarily unavailable. Gotta move. Now. Where are we moving to? Try to exit. Gun. Aim by holding and press the fire. Vanished. End of chapter. End of this part of our YouTube video.